Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Taking a Bath in the Bathroom is the only place where you can play with your gadgets in peace. On this channel, we do product reviews and also some tutorials. If you want to support the channel, go to check out my ebook, bang, demanding some stuff on fire.com. If you want to find it, just go to Amazon and search for The Man Who Set Himself on Fire by Donald Bogan, B-O-G-E-N. All right, let's jump right into it. Now, if you follow the channel, you know that since the beginning, every review, every app I, I downloaded, Every product I reviewed that required a cell phone, it was always in the Android ecosystem. However, I broke down and I got a iPhone 12. All right, this iPhone 12 Plus. Now, one of the things I noticed is that when I went to use one of the portable screens that I reviewed on the channel, we reviewed several portable screens on this channel, is that it wasn't working with the iOS platform. However, I had a solution. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can mirror or cast your iPhone to a portable screen using a wireless dongle. Let's get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. This is the wireless dongle. You can see HDMI guys. It can go up to 1080p resolution. So you open up the box. Of course, you're going to get the user manual. Now, it's very important for the iOS users to keep their user manual, even though there's information, even those, even though that's information displayed on the screen. Now, this is the extender. This little adapter right here, this is going to shoot out the wireless signal. Okay, it has to be powered by 5 volt USB. Go ahead and put that to the side. Now, we're going to open up the dongle itself. Now, one of the things I say about this, it feels pretty good. It's a nice build. Got that little gunmetal going on. And you can hook up a 3.5 aux wire, but you can see the main connection is a full HDMI connection. Now, with this portable monitor, it comes with an adapter. It comes with a um, HDMI to mini HDMI. And also the dongle has to be powered too. Now we have our little power bank right here. Plug up the extender to the dongle. Plug up the power to the little power bank. And this is the screen that you're going to see when you hook it up to a portable monitor. Now, open up your Wi-Fi and put in the default password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now you're connected to the dongle. The dongle, oh my. Series talking to me. The dongle is actually broadcasting that broadcast right there. Display C83. Go ahead, pair that up. Hit mirroring, and voila, just like that, you are connected directly to the dongle. Now, I was a bit skeptical about the latency, but not only do it keep up with my movements on the iPhone, the sound also comes through there. Again, if you want it like a more sophisticated sound, you can hook up a 3.5 aux wire into a system or whatever. Be warned, I could not get Netflix to play. Now, part of that is because of security. So you might need like an HDMI splitter or something like that, but I couldn't get it to play. Open up YouTube, go to my channel, and you can see my fingers as it relates to what's on the monitor. You can basically see that it's in sync, guys. It's not out of sync. And again, that's shocking to me. Right now, everything is going smoothly. But I am using my cellular data from my phone to play this YouTube video. Because I'm connected directly to the dongle. Now that's the first method to connect it to the dongle you know go ahead connect to the wi-fi take a picture of the barcode boom it open up the browser and you in there the other way you could connect it is you could do that method that i just told you about and showed you and you can connect your dongle to your home wi-fi that way you're not on your cellular data. So once we connect it, I come right here. I hit the, the Wang line um, and just find whatever network or router I want connected to, put in the password 
and we're good to go so when i cast it now it's going to be airplay and it's no longer using my cellular data now my phone is using my home wi-fi to play and that's good because that's less buffering buffering if you in a area to where you don't have a strong um data signal or if you just don't want to use your cell phone data look how smooth it is guys i mean that's the thing that i was worried about was the latency so you pretty much have it right there guys it's simple to set up simple to use follow those steps follow the instructions again the netflix thing guys i haven't been able to use it and i think it's because of the security um probably got to go in that chance some settings or get a hdmi splitter everything you need is right here this is how you use ios with a portable monitor with this little dongle now this dongle can come in handy with a computer you can cast your uh your mac you can cast your your dell or uh, windows i wanted to say and you're good to go but i was having trouble with this iphone 12 and now i rectify the situation all right guys let's go back into the studio and i'm gonna give you my final thoughts hey guys welcome back all right so as you can see quick easy simple more than one way to um cast it using the ios platform however if you still have problems guys just you know leave a comment or shoot me an email at taking the bathroom at gmail.com i love those portable monitors because like i said in other videos they are a lifesaver for me now yes i do have the iphone 12 but i still have my note 10 plus guys i still have that now if you're wondering why i have two phones because my wife they are absolutely crazy fanatic iphone lovers <laughs> my daughters my sons um only got one son that's, that's an android head like myself but they brought something to my attention is that you can't have a tech channel if you only going to use one platform so easy to use easy to set up thank you for watching it's your boy taking the bathroom until next time peace don't forget to subscribe 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 if you want to see me do more with the iphone um leave a comment don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification button so you can be up to date with all of my latest videos